Hello, it's Dealey Real Estate. Sun Gung, your villa interior decoration plan. I need to see the house. You're at two o'clock this afternoon. Come on time. Okay, thank you. Blind! Have no quality! Why are you? Where are you taking me? Home, of course. To my private house. Why go to your private house? Isn't my private home yours? Ah. Uh. My clothes are all wet. Let's change it. Wow, the bathrooms are so luxurious. My hair is wet. Why didn't you blow dry it? I... Hello? Okay, I got it. I'll be right over. Wait for my return. No, I still have to look at the villa design. Ah! Ah! Was that Mister? If he finds out we have got the wrong woman, that would be the end. I can't afford to lose everything I have now. Uncle Liu, book me now the fastest ticket to the Han country. <laughs> Liang Yimo. <laughs> I'm gonna replace you completely. Mister, what brings you back? Where is Mrs? Mrs has ordered the ticket for this morning to the Han country. It should be off the plane by now. Why would she fly to the Han country? She says she is in a bad mood. Take a trip to relax. In a bad mood? It's right. Mrs is a little out of mind. Because I'm in a bad mood? This woman is taking my money and then resists me. What the hell is going on? Mister, your new office design is ready. Come and take a look at it sometime. Okay. Imo, the president likes your design. Start next week. Minister Sun, you can rest assured. I will work hard. Liang Imo, don't be happy too early. You're too awesome. Can I have a look? Liang Yimo, I thought you were my friend, but you copied my work. Liang Yimo's office design drawing plagiarizes my work. Bring your computer here. Liang Yimo, your document was created a week behind Sui Suni. A couple days ago, I asked her to install the software for me, and then she stole my information. Minister Sun, you have to make decisions Thanks for me. Slander. This is my design. Dealey Real Estate dare not hire someone like you. Minister Sue! I can explain, Minister! Minister! Mom? Where the hell is daughter? Something happened at home. Come back. I would kill myself. The son spends a long gamble in debt to a loan shark. The daughter is not obedient. You can't sell your daughter. Who said anything about selling? We just help you find a good in-laws. Then we can decide to sell you. And you're not my biological daughter. 
What do you mean? Right. Meng Meng is my real daughter. At the hospital, I switched you two. Is it true what my mom said? Your aunt's daughter died. We're worried about her health. I took care of you from somewhere else. Meng Meng was born in poor health, and your aunt's conditions are relatively good, so... So? I'm not my aunt's daughter, too. Anyway, we raised you for over twenty years. You can't be a jerk. Emo, beg you, save your brother. I've already de contacted a dating agency. I'm going on a blind date in two days. Good. This is the Mrs. Lung. I'm settled. I have no car, no house, and no savings. And I have to repay loan shark interest every month. The bride price is at least 200000 Would you like to? You're crazy about money. Alas. One, two, three, four, eighteen, nineteen. I've already met nineteen of them, all unsuccessful. Excuse me. I'm too late. Long Zhou Jing. I'm here to meet Miss Liang on a blind date. Why don't you like it? Yes, thank you. I... I learned from your sister-in-law. You came back for a blind date. So you... So I just come forward willingly. Do you think I'm qualified? You're kidding me. I go on blind dates to take the dowry to pay off the debt. You more. Anymore. Will you marry me? Anymore. I need someone to marry too. To cope at home. Will you help me? Anymore. This is going to be our new home. Can I get you anything else? That's good enough. Thank you, Zhou Jing. Blockhead. We're all family now. You're being nice to me. I really wanted to thank you. You've helped me so much. Now you give me a safe home again. What can I do for you? I will do my best in the future. Then, thanks for your hard work, my missus. Ought to, Mr. Lung. It's him! Sir... Zhou Jing, have you seen your sister-in-law? Sister-in-law? No, sir. Maybe you're wrong. Manswear should be in the Han country. I must miss her so much to be wrong. Let's go. Ah Jing! For five years, we finally meet again. Ji Yen, you've already left. Why do you come back? It was your grandfather five years ago menacing. If I don't say parting words, our family will go bankrupt. I can't forget you. We're back together. It's all in the past. Besides, I already have a fiancé. You... Then I will force you to come back. Zhou Jing, did something happen? Yimo, let's break off our engagement. Zhou Jing, what I did is not good enough? You can talk to me anything. I started a company with a friend, but he took the money and invested. Not a penny left, and I'm in a lot of debt. I don't want to... drag you down. Zhou Jing, in my most difficult difficulties, it was you who gave me warmth. So I'm not leaving you.
but I don't want you following me. I'll be with you the whole time. Sister-in-law, I need money urgently. Can I still be the resident singer there? Of course you can. You're in the bar world a star. I don't want anyone else to know who I am. And I asked you to keep it a secret. You're going to go by the name of Xiao Xie. Come to the bar and sing. Well... Who is this chick? Nice. Oh, her? Xiaoxi has only been here a few days. Very popular with guests. Xiaoxi? Sir, Mrs. has been picked up by Mr. to the Lung Garden. The second Mrs. was also taken there. Second Mrs.? Yes, second Mrs. He got a fiancé too. Mansure, I miss you so much. I'm not Mansure, let go of me. I swear, I will spoil you forever, take care of you for a lifetime. Leng Ye Chong, he's the older brother of Zhou Jing. You let me go! You. <laughs> What's wrong with Mansure? Maybe I'm too hasty. Zhou Jiang, this girl is... My fiancé, Yimo. It's Manxue. You have a sister-in-law who looks just like you. Manxue. You're the eldest brother's wife. Mother-in-law, I hit it off with my sister-in-law. I want to talk to her alone. Oh, go ahead. Yimo, hit me. You are Man Shui. What the hell are you doing? You need to get up and talk. I'll get up after you forgive me. What do you want me to forgive you for? It is... So it is. No wonder every time I meet him, it's all weird. I'm the one who took your jade to replace you. And I became the fiancé of the eldest master of the Lang family. But now I am in love with him. Love him very much. And I... I already slept with him. If this time he knows he's got the wrong woman, what can I do? I'm begging you. You help me, please. Will you? The Jade. I didn't want it in the first place. You can rest assured. I won't ruin your happiness. So you really don't care at all? Mr. Lang is the heir of the Lang Company. A lot of money and power. Not mind. Yimo, don't blame me for not warning you. Lang Zhao Jing is just the bastard son of the Lang family. Lang Zhao Jing is just the bastard son of the Lang family. No status at all. You follow him. Are you really willing? It doesn't matter if he has no status at the Lang family. I'm willing to follow Zhao Jing. But Man Shui, ever since the friendship between us is over. Why? Yimo, haven't you forgiven me? For the matter, there is not about forgiving. But for our friendship, you are selfish. It's time for dinner. Don't keep Grandpa waiting. Ah, Jing. She's your fiancée? Liang Yimo? Yes, Grandpa. Utter absurdity. I'm sorry, Grandpa. Without your permission, I don't choose my fiancée on your own terms. How did you two grow up? So similar. Grandpa, the look-alike has a lot all over the world. I have a special bond with my sister-in-law. We are from the same place.
And my eldest daughter-in-law is beautiful. Grandpa, what happened to your face? Ah, nothing. I touched it. You're sitting in the wrong seat. Am I sitting in the wrong seat? Ye Chen. The woman looks just like Manshui, but Manshui is the most beautiful. This man is the elder master of the Lang family, the brother of Zhao Jing. Xiao Chen loves to sit here. Just let him sit here. Go down. Eat. Let's have a meal. Come and taste, Manshui. This is my favorite dish. I'm sorry, I haven't been with you during this time. In the future, I'll take more time to take care of you. Brother, you have the wrong person. I'm not Manshui. Elder brother, I forgot to introduce you. This is my fiancé, Yang Yimou. 